Animals, baby. I We're know. not messing around tonight at Zeno Zero. Yeah, Salt is writing his will right now. Oh yeah. So he's writing his <laughs> yeah, will. He knows. He knows. <laughs> Mama, RJ is Papa, here. son, <laughs> son. All of my, all of my VTuber merch will go to Dre. Oh, you mean you? No. God no. I hope my not. My VTuber collection will go to my greatest disciple, George. No. My Yoshi's will go to blah blah blah. I feel like he'd give the Yoshi's to his, uh, his brother. Something like that. That's a fair. I don't think he's like. I don't think he has the will. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> I'm guessing that. Wow. Look at these two. These guys are such good friends. But as soon as that game comes on, they're gonna go both. They're gonna both go, go into time. demon mode. Look, look, they're happy right now. You're gonna see these smiles turn into frowns really quickly. Look. Oh my God. Look it's at go it. It's go time, baby. Grand finals. Oh, there we go. Missed up right off the bat. No MS2 for you. Aha. So this is the run back from earlier today. Yep. Already. So we already yeah. got a little bit of a taste of what this is going to look like. It's the run back of the century. Like, these guys have been going at it as long as, like... They've been going at it since they were born, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's like Sisyphus pushing up that boulder. He's never going to stop. He's been doing it forever. You make it sound like, oh, <laughs> Sultan will never beat... <laughs> Sultan will never beat RJ. <laughs> He's just going to keep the boulder up, and then RJ's going to beat him. <laughs> if that's how you want to interpret it, then I'm not going to stop you. Oh, that's like that's like the moral of the story, way. right? Yeah. It's like, he does like half <laughs> that is impossible to finish. Yeah. It's like, uh, what's his face? It's like Prometheus and how like the ravens eat his liver every day. So the, the RJ ravens eat salted bread's liver? Yep. Wow. See? <laughs> Too easy! Too e wow. This is going to be the quickest grand finals ever. And that way... I hope it is because that way we can move on to Tetris Effect Connected. Yeah, but so I'm getting what, ahead of what, myself. What, so we can see the same match again. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I love that. All right, it's a sailboat mirror. Nice. Beautiful. RJ going for. Uh, RJ's bailing out though. Or maybe there's a follow up I don't know about. Uh, I wouldn't Sultan's, be surprised. Sultan's going into the four wide. Yeah. Uh, That's the only way. He has to use the dark arts in order to, like, finally beat his mortal enemy. I'm telling you, Salted really does think he's Goku in this situation. Like, <laughs> you know? I don't know if you were talking about it. You heard us talking about it, but we saw a uh, baseball boy, like, like styling on RJ earlier, he's right? trying to calm down. <laughs> Sorry, go on. So you saw how, like, uh, baseball boy was styling on RJ earlier, right? Before RJ, like, ultimately won. Yeah. And then, like, we were like... <laughs> oh, sorry, that next was hilarious. <laughs> Beautiful. But, uh... We said, like, oh, if you watch Dragon Ball GT, like, Frieza and, um, Cell come back. And they try to beat up Goku, except... You know, Goku's kind of, like, washed up, right? Yeah. But then, like, Goku still, like, kicks, kicks their ass. Yeah, because it's been, like thousands of episodes since that and he's gotten stronger whereas everybody else hasn't trained since they're in the the afterlife no but like we we're like oh we thought baseball boy like sucks now because he just parties and why because he enjoys so his life irl stuff <laughs> yeah like, like because he touches grass on like us like hangs out with his girlfriend yeah you know but it's like he's still good yeah who would have known? We, Baseball Boy is like, yeah, I, I would say like that's that's life advice for kid. You can have a life and be good at video games. Isn't that amazing? It's not fair. You can find a balance. It is fair. It's that it's beautiful. I think if he can do it, then we can too, Dre. You're From this day on, I'm gonna start touching grass. I promise. George is coping. I'm coping. <laughs> All right, back to this. Uh, yeah. Sultan is like really tired because. He had a long ass set with uh, Baseball Boy. He's trying to like okay, stay alive still doing with uh, good, though. trying to stay alive with uh, illegal drugs like coke. Yeah, and sun kissed. <laughs> but we'll see how long it lasts. RJ is very good at being consistent, so Sultan might just run out of steam. Oh yeah, for sure. And, uh, like I was saying earlier about uh, Salted versus Baseball Boy, I feel like Salted Boy. I, uh, Salted, Salted Boy. Boy. Oh no! <laughs> nice. Uh, I feel like Baseball Boy was very much trying to wear out Salted Bread. He was trying to, like, make his enemy tired and then go in for the kill. Like, uh, like 
strike some kind of like... He was like not being like super aggressive and stuff? Yeah, he was waiting for the right moment to strike. Yeah, I think he was being like a lot more strategic this... For sure. This tournament. Yeah. But um... Well, because he kind of has to be. Because yeah. the rust is there, it's just like... He's still baseball boy. Yeah. So he just has to play differently. Nice. Okay, I can see. Focus got pretty okay garbage. Nice. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. I'm into it. Alright. Let's see what Arjun's gonna do. Alright, he's got a two wide. Something. Uh, he's building up, but his counter is not gonna be as effective. Yeah. Yeah, RJ's pretty low, but he's cheesed up, so he's gonna try to take him ASAP. He had an opportunity to color clear, and he didn't take it, so frankly, I'm disappointed. I mean, you don't always want to take those because I it's do. risky. I because it's fun. Yeah, but you you end up with, like, sometimes, like, really unfavorable, like, your, your stack does not, does not look good all the time, and then it can, like, end up screwing you over. Yeah. Wow. Salted is getting a little salty. It's so funny, like, throughout most of this tournament, he's been, like, fairly calm. But now that he's going up against RJ himself, there's, there's some pressure. I feel like Salted was the one who was putting on the pressure for most of this tournament. And now it's, it's RJ's turn to put on some pressure, don't you think? No, RJ knows when to turn it on, which is why he's become, like... Which is why he's, like, able to, like, win against baseball boy and stuff. Because he knows, like, he learned, learned how to turn it on. Yeah. Once again, waiting for the right moment, just like Baseball Boy was earlier. Yeah, except he's been playing. He's still, but he's like, he's like not out of practice. And yeah. See that smile on his face? He's toying with his enemy. Yeah, he, he he like the salt feeds him. Yeah. yeah. Miss drop. Ooh, that sailboat is not going to play. That, that is. That I don't know if that sailboat is going very far. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh, what was going on there? He got a little, he got a little lost. He got a little silly right there, don't you think? Nice TKI. We're seeing some back. support for RJ in the chat. Who's who's supporting Salted Red right now? Where's the love for Salted? <laughs> no response. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> We need a name for like RJ Stand Club. There we go. We got one person saying salt number one. I hate salt that lover. guy. <laughs> nice. I feel like people in the chat are gonna be like, I hate salted. Yeah. My name is Commando. <laughs> My name is Commando. I hate salted bread. This man has made it his sole purpose in the community for everybody to hate him. He is the heel. He is truly the heel of this community. Yeah, Mando's like, I'm... Like, I'm a Nico Montoya. I'm a Nico Montoya! I love that. Princess Bride reference at a Tetris tournament. We have such good times here. I don't know, I feel like that... Entire speech, that, like, that, that line is just like... I mean, with a with on its own. A lot of the terms that are used in Tetris, I'm like, you keep saying that. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, when I do when I do commentary, I focus more on like trying to explain it to the people who don't understand it. Yeah, I but you, like, you, don't, you don't understand it either. Exactly. That's why I'm so good at explaining you're it just, to you're others. Just misle you're just misleading the people. Exactly. The blind leading the blind. <laughs> the blind leading the blind. I hate you. I hate you, Dre. Get off this mic. You're not allowed on this mic anymore. I mean, I'm just full of, like, saying. Kick know? him off, Devin. This ain't fair. Yeah, I'm better at Tetris and I'm better saying thank you. <laughs> Man, this sucks. I'm going home. Got some bullying on the commentary side. Yeah. Yeah, so far, RJ is uh, bullying Salted Red, though. Oh, yeah. But I, I, feel like this, I feel like this is going to be a close match. Like, it's 5-3 right now, you know, RJ's got the lead. But Salted, I, I, I do feel like he can turn this around. Oh, yeah, he, he almost missed dropped right there. He almost did. All right, you see the speed picking up a little bit. So, I think the coke's kicking in. I, <laughs> I pointed this out earlier. Whenever Salted Red... Usually when you see um, usually when you see a player speed up, 
they, they don't have a plan because they're just focusing on their speed. But when Salted Bread speeds up, that means he does have a plan usually. Does that make sense? Unlike most players when they speed up, Salted Bread usually has a pretty good idea of what he's doing when he's like going fast. Mm, maybe. He's so confident in his I feel like both plan. people I see speed up kind of do have a plan and are speeding up because they know exactly what they want to do. Yeah. I, I guess it's most no I guess it's mostly noticeable when Salted Bread is playing. Maybe. So does that mean he doesn't know what he's doing most of the time? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, he had an opportunity to go for a nice forecast, but Bro, he missed it. What are you doing? Come yeah. on. You're right, he's a little lost, so he's slowing down. Which is kind of funny, because he told me once, like... It's like, he, he's like, okay when, like, his board sucks, and he has, like, bad options, because he's like, well, these aren't, these aren't the only options I can do. So, <laughs> kind of interesting how... He says that, but he doesn't go fast. Do you feel like you understand Salted as a player? Because you guys play pretty often. Sort of. Oh no! Pin? Accidental pin? Turned it into a T-spin? I love that, man. Well, a pin is a T-spin. Oh. He took lemons, turned it into lemonade, and forced Salted to drink that lemonade, and it, but that lemonade was too sour, so it like hindered Salted Bread and it made him really upset. I have no idea what you just said. Every, I, I feel like everybody understands what I just said. That made perfect sense in my head. I think it's past your bedtime. <laughs> it's past my bed. Man, I hate you. No, like that reaction is like salted, like basically like stuck his toe. <laughs> yes. And then like tripped and RJ won the race. But that's like a boring way to say it. But it's like perfect. All right, nice. A nice donation going. Maybe he's gonna four wide. No, he's not gonna four wide. I doubt it. No guts. Yeah. He tells everyone they should be four widing, but he's, he's not four widing. He's too weak to four wide. He's not afraid. I mean, he's too afraid. No, it's very. It's actually quite risky. Because a guy, a, like an opponent with like decent offense, can easily like mess you up. True. It's like a very all or nothing thing, and it's like committing to it is very like quite risky. So like you're basically like I'm gonna win or like my opponent is basically gonna win because I committed all my resources into this one strat. Yeah, it does require a lot of focus, and it doesn't give you many options. Yeah, and like you gotta build up really, you gotta build up like considerably high to like out APM like very like strong players. <laughs> Alright, sailboat versus. Mr. T spin. Alright, he's gonna four right now. Oh my goodness. He has no good out. But he's it's like it's not bad. I like a four. Yeah. RJ responds with a combo of his own. Now they're both oh well, RJ stack is very good. It wasn't but very Salted big combo, is Salted is pretty clean now. Yeah. Yeah, Salted if he just keeps up the pressure now then he'll probably take RJ out. But RJ is like doing his best to dig, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's good. I think Salt can like get in. He wants to be in those kind of situations where he like can like pressure RJ into like losing. Yeah, if if Salt is able to put on pressure, he's gonna do it. But I think the problem with Salt is like I was like, I was gonna tell him after the tournament. Because I didn't want him to do it while I was playing him. Instead, you're gonna Not say like it on on the stream where well, everybody can save later. his VOD. I'll tell him later. But it's like I feel like he needs to like tease him more because he really? played a bit too like straight. Mm. Not enough variety like, in his gameplay. He like could squeeze out more APM, and it would help him a lot. I see. More like he could like adjust Oh no, strats. RJ! There we go. That's a good burst. Whoa! Nice. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Man. Did I just see like Sultan can send a, like a lot? He can. When the opportunity is right, but. I feel like. He does not like create those opportunities like very effectively. He's just kind of waiting for that opportunity to come. Like that, that, that like landed in his lab, yeah. and that's why he was able to do it, right? Yeah, but, yeah. 
Normally Tommy. it works best when the opportunity lands on his lap. I see I why mean, sometimes you're it saying does. that. Like, he got perfect garbage like in that one round versus RJ. And he just more like baseball boy and he just like lost. And it was like really funny. Yeah. I did say something similar to that. I did say sometime earlier today that like Salted's playstyle is very reactionary. He's very much reacting to what his opponents are doing. And that determines how he's going to play usually. So if you watch Salted's opponent, it gives you a pretty good idea of what Salted Red is going to do in the game. Yeah, sort of. It's, it's less that he's reactionary. It's just that like... He has like a certain strat. Like his baseline strat is like not very uh what do you call it? It's not very like efficient in like type of terms. Mm. Alright, that was a that was a, a well-earned win though, so it's good cause for celebration. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's tied up now. Yes sir! Tied up grand finals! Where are, where else are you going to see that besides Xeno Zero Gaming? Come on, overhang, overhang. Damn. Damn. Missed opportunity. I'm disappointed. If he wins, it's not gonna matter. Because he didn't go for that. Kind of hard to see, but... That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Like, he... He stacks very... Stacks pretty clean, pretty fast, but... Are you saying it's predictable? What? Are you saying his playstyle is predictable? Not necessarily, it's just... It's not much depth. It doesn't mean he's bad, it just means like... Wow. You know, it works, right? He's winning. Yeah, it, it, he, he he's gonna do what he knows best. But you know, he's not gonna it's like he could be up. using 10% of his brain instead of like 5% of his brain or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> he could be 5-heading it instead of 4-heading it. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, my prediction earlier was totally right. This is a pretty close match, as I thought it would be. Yeah, that's good. I was like worried that he would be tired, but it seems like he still got some he probably is. gas left in the tank. He's probably really tired. It's just that like he's insane. You know, <laughs> the the crackhead energy will is able to take a player very far. You know. True. <laughs> I mean, I, this is also like a different path for him, like. Normally, I think last time he was in the finals. Ooh, that disrupt is not good. Oh yeah. I think last time he was in the finals, um, it was versus Baseball Boy, and he had to defeat RJ to get here. We were talking about something like that earlier on. Excuse me. And uh, then, um, so this time he beat Baseball Boy, so you know this will be a bit of a different situation. Yeah, this is the first time in Xeno history that Baseball Boy is not in the top two. That's true. Yeah. In a, in, a, in tournaments he participated in. Yeah. But he has not participated in all of them. Yeah. Really? I thought he's been to every Xeno. No, he didn't go to the last one. Or like the one before that, I think. Uh, what was that What was that other Tetris player who, who showed up once who's like really, really, really good? Jigo Huat's gaming. Jigo what? Yeah, him. Uh, was Baseball Boy at that one? I think he was, right? Baseball Boy was at one of them, but not the other one. Yeah. When are we going to see the return of Giga what? Well, when, That's up to when, Giga, when Giga finishes finals. Yeah. Oh, so... Soon. Yeah. A January Xeno Tetris could actually kind of yeah. pop off. Well, I mean, yeah. Potentially. That could be the yeah. return of Giga what? That'd be sick. We'll have to see. Yeah, hopefully that is the case. Do the viewers want to see that? Let us know. Get excited. Maybe even come along to the next tournament. We'll be happy to see you. Oh, wow, nice. Salted Red is in a really good spot right now, but he's kind of just like hanging pretty good out. Too. He's got, he's got like a good way down. He's at a good height. Like one yeah. thing Salted does not really do is he doesn't like to stay high because that's like a way to improve your APM, but it's risky, obviously. Wow. Right? Yeah. Since you don't have to drop as far for your T-Stint, yeah, you can attack faster. Mm. So oh, I noticed man. that, I'll notice that like, good. he takes his Tetris too quickly sometimes. So it lowers his board height and like makes it, make, like, it like reduces his damage output. 
so funny. Earlier he was telling me about like waiting for the right moment to strike. Yeah, timing is really important, and right now we're, we're seeing him not taking his own advice. I mean, in his mind, he's like, I think he's like thinking like we're. Well, like, in I his mind, dig, he right? thinks he's the goat. You know. Oh, he has to, well, in his mind, at that moment, he's like, I'm gonna die. I have to get out of here. True. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like he's he's seeing what's happening, and he's always reacting. He's never going out of his way to. Uh, actually, no, he does go out of his way to attack, but. Very rarely. Well, only that's when not, he's, that's not really, that's only when he knows he can. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Don't attempt to use distraction techniques again. Distraction techniques. RJ. It's not really working. Ooh. As you can tell, yeah. Yeah. He, once again, he's pushed to the top, and it's very oh, dangerous. No. no! He's not using official Nintendo hardware, so he couldn't DI the piece. Exactly. Wait, is RJ? What, what control? I forget what controller is RJ using. RJ is using the pocket controller. Okay, yeah. He is can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry, you can't what? see what he's using. Wow. What a tease, bro. Twitch TOS. Look, I don't know. Trying for... to hide it behind the Man. table and everything. Yeah. That is a thing in the FGC. Now they're putting cloths over their hands so their opponents can't see their hands. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's this is getting like to new levels of like sweatiness. <laughs> yeah. Ori does make really good controllers though. Yeah, I think I don't think they make them anymore, unfortunately. The so. Poking controller, no, but the D-pad on the Hori Fighting Commander, it's exactly the same. Oh, okay. We actually have a poking controller here at Xeno. Ain't no way. Yeah. Wow. wow. Someone left it here a thousand years ago. They were like, I guess this is ours now. What if they come like years later and they're like, thanks for holding on to my controller? What controller? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no PC, unfortunate. Nope. I think Baseball Boy would like a new poking controller because I think. I think his is broken. Him or Salted? Their fucking controller is broken. Mm. Oh, Assault is broken. That's why he's using the Apito. though. Yeah. Apito, though, also a solid alternative. I really like the, uh... I like the straight-up Switch Pro controller, but the, I don't like where the D-pad is located on that controller. Yeah, Too far down, like... so my thumb has to reach farther. It's like GameCube, but still kind of bad for the using the pad. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cool. All right. All right. Good job, salted. Okay. Is Holding he gonna on. do it? Nice. RJ. Is this it? Oh, that's RJ a missed drop right there. That's, he, that's gonna be it. Oh, he's stuck. Yeah. It's gonna be it. Yeah. Oh my God! Guaranteed win by salted red. Nice. Yeah, it works both ways. You know, missed drops work for you. They don't work for you. That's how you deal with it. Yep. Makes you a good or a great player. Alright. Alright, RJ has a very big attack coming. Sultan will need to defend ASAP. Yeah. Or die. See, that's, just, that's what Sultan was telling you about. The hell was that? Yeah. That's what Sultan was telling you about. Is mm -hmm. like. You have that attack ready, and then once you're ready to like, once you're like, once the moment is there, then you blow your load, and then you like, you blow. take a dump on your opponent. Yep. Ooh, RJ stack is a bit messy. This is Salted's chance to uh, get payback, but Salted is digging. He's too busy enjoying his life. He's digging right now. I don't think I like his garbage hole, so he's probably gonna start digging now too. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Stopping for the nice. combo, interesting choice. Got a pretty okay combo. Okay, I think he could have stacked that a bit it. differently, but he did not count to four. He could have easily done that. What are you doing, Salted? Yeah, you can complain to him, you know. You give me all this advice, but you don't do it. Yeah. Why Come should on. I listen to you? And you lost to RJ. Yeah. What kind of coach are you? Plus ratio. Exactly. <laughs> oh, now he's a bit stuck. Oh, but wow. RJ. 
Very I'm, close. I'm getting a little bit scared. You know. Nice. In the commentator's booth, there's a Pikachu plushie hanging. But, like, it's not facing us, so I'm just looking at Pikachu's butt right now. Yeah, Pikachu was, like, swaying in the wind. It would be, basically be, like, twerking at us. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Don't on the attack. Alright, okay. Will he four wide? No, he will not. Alright, actually, he might do it. He might do it. He's, like, kind of... Oh, never mind. Just kidding. He's just doing like 9-0 with donations, which is respectable, but... Yeah, like I said, he keeps, he's keeping his stack height low, which I think hurts his like at, like damage output. It's like some of, it's like some of the like sometimes like I'm not able to out damage him because I I play at a, I'm playing at a higher like board height. But wow, yeah, I feel like Sultan's nice. putting on a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, like right now he's like you can like tell he's like thinking in terms of like. Neutral and like advantage, like he's like right now, I'm like kind of in neutral, mm -hmm. and um, I'm trying to find a moment where RJ is like vulnerable. Oh, yes, see. Oh, that is mind. way. That is way too. Wow. wow that worked. Nice. Oh my God, he's really doing it. I was about to say like he. Wow. What am I looking at? Nice, nice, nice. That's so good. Oh, we need a replay of that, bro. RJ's still alive. He got yeah, Tetris, he's out. perfectly fine. Salted just, like, gave him his entire load, and RJ's just like, what kind of load is that? Oh, uh, you don't need to go that far. Uh, let me know if the clip uh, in the bottom right of your screen is caught what you guys are talking about. Uh... Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. man. We can get that. All right. Interesting. Interesting. We'll have to... This is up for the combo. We'll have to take a look at it after the set, because yeah. they're not going to give us enough time. Yeah, that was that was super interesting. Sure. Oh, my God. He almost died. You were that close to death. You saw the Grim Reaper standing right in front of you, and now you're kissing the Grim Reaper. Yeah, RJ just, like, die already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, RJ's just like, come on! Ooh. Okay, okay. Go. Nice. Perfect. Here. I showed you see, nice. Oh. Both getting a little a little greedy. Ooh! RJ making art though. Yeah. Art class is in session. Art class is in session. I hope you're, I hope you're hyped guys. Ooh. He tried to prophecy it, but like it, it didn't work. Alright, he considered he uh, doing the spin, but I don't know why he didn't do it. Oh, I see, I see. Smart. Yeah. Well, not smart. Well, he's, he didn't he's do fine it, though. But, he's, like he's, he's in the clear. Sultan yeah. messed up. Oh yeah. Great. Guys, we're, we're, we are on the cusp of greatness. Alright, here we go. Pretty spin. Pretty. Not MS2. Not MS2. Yeah, instead of Mountain Second 2, it's uh, Major Sitting 2. Major Sitting 2. Yeah, now he's in trouble. RJ, you know what to do. Take him out. Ah, uh, yeah. When you're at the top like that, see, he's playing fast, but the options aren't good. MD2. Yeah, he mistyped. Instead of MS2, he... Did M MD2. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a PC for RJ, but it doesn't matter. Now he's in like a bit of a precarious situation. Because Sultan's opener is at full steam. And, uh, Did you say vicarious situation? Precarious. Precarious. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, Sultan's like. Doing his open on like full steam. RJ didn't really have RJ's board. risky. And now he's really high up. Yeah, RJ is like, oh, yeah, mm, now he's nah. He's too confident at the top of the board. He's like, I, I, I could do something interesting here. Well, Salted I mean, was like, opportunity! 
don't know about like interesting, but it's like RJ. It feels like he always knows like what to do at like any given moment, which is like one of oh, like yeah. his like biggest strengths. Yeah. Is that yeah, he just he's always got a plan. Yeah, he always he's, he's like even. always ready. I don't know if he always has a plan, but he's always ready. He's always ready. Nice, you got a nice down tag combo. Oh, Ooh. just dropped that. Very unfortunate. Salted, take advantage. Yeah, take advantage, Salted. He can like stack up a bit to fix it, and it's gonna be quite risk, quite quite dirty. It's garbage access, but you can't count to four. Oh, then the set the sea spin, but it's not canceling. Ain't no way. Ain't like, no way. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Still alive. Living. All right, living. Yeah, he's out. Living. Nice. Salted decides to wait, but he only has one attack. He's gonna have a very like enemy combo to try to like pressure RJ back, but it's not really gonna work. RJ can literally take this home if, right now if he wanted to, but he's not. Yeah, like reason. now, like the momentum has shifted to like RJ's side. Yeah, kind of crazy. I know, so quickly too. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, nice. All That's right. GG. RJ takes it with a very clean comeback. Ladies and gentlemen, and your winner of Dino Tetris 9. It's the one and only man from Philly, RJ. No, he's a New Yorker. Well, I mean, he's a New Yorker in our hearts, yes. But nice. physically, yes. Look at that. Ah, look at those two. They are, we, are, we have good times over here at uh, Dino Yeah, this nice rematch has uh, ended up with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This yeah, was probably one of the coolest up, parts like, for me. Uh, IQ moment. Yeah, yeah. He like really, he got at himself out of that situation really well. He used multiple attacks in very good consecutive order. It was it was very smart. Yeah, see like he, he can play at like that height. Like yeah. it's pretty good, but he's like, he's not like not comfortable, he's not like really comfortable with it, which is like why I feel like. Jaden PPT, I'd like to say thank you for rating us. Thank uh, you. Hope you had a good stream, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we literally just ended our tournament for Puyo Puyo Tetris, but stick around because guess what's coming up next? Tetris Effect. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Yeah, the game that George likes and uh, three out salted in a money match. Do we want to do the best game? Uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris interview before we move on to the next game. I feel like that's uh, a pretty good idea. Uh, Might as well, right? Yeah, well, I don't know. Let's yeah, get, why not? Let's get the boy in here. Let's get the boys. Yeah, let's get him in here. Get in here, guys! Come on, don't be shy. Let's interview the winner. All right, Salted Bread. How Come do you on. feel about losing to RJ once again? Yeah, RJ, how does it feel to be a loser? RJ won. What are you talking about? No, I'm sorry. I meant to say Salted Bread. <laughs> my bad. I, looked, I was looking dead. I was looking dead at you, and, I, and my hey, the RJ, words that came out of my mouth are RJ. Oh God, the flying feet! I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, you RJ hater. All right, George has been banned for hating on RJ. Okay. All right, here we go. Second place will interview first place. How do you feel about beating me? <laughs> what, what's up? Hey, we got matching jackets. Ooh. Yeah, crazy, right? Yeah, why don't you get matching shirts, too? <laughs> yeah, why don't you match my shirt? <laughs> why not match shirts? <laughs> no thanks. You don't, you don't want to say this? Oh, nah. nah, I'm out of here. That's my key to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, it sucks to lose, but you know what? That's fun. That's fun. Oh. All right. Get over here, RJ. All right. All right. Well, anyways, anyways, hey, congratulations. I think you. Uh, you beat some <laughs> straw. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to win? This is oh. what, like your second or third? Uh, this would be my second. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. fucking go. Yeah, and congrats, man. Yeah, Thank how you. does it Thank feel you. to win? Oh, man, it's been a while since our last Xeno, so just getting back into it has been fun. And yeah, you've been that, in, like, hiatus. You're, like, Hunter x Hunter. You're, like, hiatus x, yeah, x yeah. hiatus, bro. Uh, hiatus mode, as, <laughs> as was Xeno, but it's, yeah. it's good to have... Yeah. Our December Zeno here, and the sets were Matt Tyler. Yeah, definitely. No, I can I can tell because your voice is shaking. <laughs> it, it is, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it feels it feels good. Anyways, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, um, what did you expect of the bracket? And yeah, I guess like what did it, you know, did everything progress the way you wanted to, or what? What do you think? How did you uh, rate your performance? 
I think I would say a seven or eight because I, or eight. I, I I had some pretty hot plays. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but I I think I still have room to get even better. Oh yeah, definitely, the, definitely. Yeah. Because the good, good old days of Xena, we were rocking the house. Yeah, we were hell yeah, we so were. good back then. But you know what hasn't changed? Your stupid defense. Fuck you. <laughs> yes. Fuck you. So, oh my god, just die, bro. You won't die. <laughs> it was not. It was funny because it was working against baseball boy. I'm like, maybe, maybe I'm feeling it. Maybe I'm like, okay, fine. I can back to back you, and then you'll feel the pressure. No, you yeah. did not. You did not crumble, and that was really impressive. I'm like, holy shit, mm -hmm. man. Like I, I tried to adjust in the end, but like I kept, you know, I kept butter, butter fingering. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really impressive, and you know, I'm I'm glad, you know, for all the people to win. It's you. We've mm. been rivals for so long, yeah. And you know, it's just great. Still that, rivals. Yep, hell yeah, still that, rivals. That, that, we prove, we'll we, continue. Yeah. We'll continue this till the next and the next forever. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I'll win more. But you know, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, man. Cheers, uh, cheers, cheers to that, man. And I guess, yeah, uh, yeah we'll be going over to Tetris Effect soon. So hope you, hopefully, you guys can tune in. If not, thank you guys for watching, and you know, watch the VODs, kids. Devin uploads it immediately. Yeah, so all the sets are up. Hells yeah. Grands, yep. in including this yeah. part. Immediately, and that's actually, that, that's so sick that someone can do that. So mm -hmm. yeah, shout outs to Devin for doing a great job, and I yep. guess, yeah, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys again later for mm -hmm. Tetris Effects. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.